We're gonna take this Frankenstein of a Jeep that has virtually zero road time and push it and use it like a daily vehicle. What's the worst that can happen? So we're gonna go two hours and 47 minutes on this thing. on the road for about 45 minutes so far so last night like the last two miles of the thruway this same thruway uh it just started backfiring and shooting flames so i figured we just reset it right now and that way we can keep going it actually wasn't my idea it was my co-pilot's idea and she's always got good ideas Before I upset YouTube with the song in the background, I am going to fill up the Jeep. Uh, I think the gas gauge is a little off, so we're going to play it safe rather than sorry. a service station and what happened at the gas station probably about an hour back was a boot came off and I'm gonna show you that boot if we're looking at the engine right here at the intake and what had happened was that came off originally we we're using these hose clamps but that kept blowing off every time so we upgraded to a stainless steel uh, bolt cap or a t-bolt clamp there and that did come off so I figured I'd count the turns and then crank it to the, that amount of turns and then add a few more turns and so far it hasn't come off yet but we do still have to do some tuning because fourth and fifth gear are kind of wonky but first through third they're dialed and luckily I brought my small little wrencher I was almost gonna leave it on my dresser drawer but I was smart enough to bring it we made it to Chris's house and he's been tuning this thing he's got he's got a at least going now. Um, I think I brought this out what two times, three times? Yes, when we yeah. were tuning. Yep, we brought it on the back of the Duramax. Duramax is no longer with us, <laughs> but we we pulled it in this driveway. And Chris has eyes like a hawk. He found that uh, one of our jam nuts on our steering, uh, one of our steering bars was loose, and also the evap lines got blown off by the boost. So now we're putting them back on. Right here, we're gonna zip tie them on. 
You want to just go around it then and just trim them? Is that yeah. what you're doing? Okay. Yeah, so he's, he's found two problems so far. We got a loose transfer case, but we're tightening it up. like our dash is getting low and uh, when I turned the engine off while we were on the road while we we're coasting um, it wouldn't crank back over I had to drop the clutch while we were still moving so I don't know what's going on but it's not good all right so we got to the store six minutes before they closed we managed to pick up two batteries it's 11 o'clock at night it's probably about 11 10 right now we're gonna catch an uber in an area that usually doesn't have ubers and they're out a few minutes. I hope I don't have to blur anything because I might not know how to do that. But uh, we do have batteries. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap them out because our alternator is probably shot. And uh, hopefully these batteries get us to Jason's house. Uh, there's no part stores that have alternators right now. Hopefully two big boys with LED lights allows us to get to Jason's. So that way we can rest up and get the Jeep fixed up tomorrow adventurous it's been an adventurous day that's for sure highest elevation low low voltage so we had a different uber drive us bring us to the gas station that we pulled over at we got our new battery in you can see we stole their wood and we have it chucked off um we'll move that real quick and then what we'll do is we'll bump start this thing so we don't use a lot of this battery's power we'll use the tires momentum to get it rolling we'll bump start it get it running and then we'll leave it running with the lights on because the LED lights require no power, well, little power. We'll fill up, we'll take off, and get the hell down the road. excitement to the night we're about uh, two blocks away from Jason's house we've been on the road for probably four and a half hours today and uh, a cop decided to pull me over I guess I must not have any taillights that's what he's saying he asked uh, a few questions a few of them I declined to answer um, so now he's gonna either give us a fix a ticket or whatever he's gonna do so tomorrow we're gonna have to fix more than an alternator I guess we're fixing lights so. All right, so the officer has turned his lights off. He's probably waiting for me to go. He's turned his lights off. They gave me a citation for my uh, tail lights, and he must want me to go. But he's not leaving. the next morning and we're at Jason's and we found this small little bunny here it's really tiny as you can see uh, we were working on the Jeep and we found that so now go over and check out the Jeep so after getting the ticket last night uh, Jason broke the headlight switch even more he yanked uh, this thing out of this thing and now it won't uh, go back in so we're gonna buy a new one of those and uh, we're gonna buy a new alternator and we're buttoning up a few other things. And then the following day, Chris is gonna come back out to the shop and uh, we're gonna tune this thing up. So the Jeep's getting an overhaul on this vacation up here in New York. You hear that? Yeah, it doesn't sound too good, but especially on the front there, it's pretty black. Start. That's Yeah, that's your uh, belt being chewed up. That's been through a mud bog or two, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that thing is dirty.
So we went and got our headlight switch, and while we were there, Jason asked them to test the alternator, and I thought it was a fail, but what actually happened was he had to mess with the connection, put it back on the machine, and then it passed, so our alternator, as shot as it looks, is actually working, um, and our headlight switch, our new one is installed, and now our headlights work. Now what I'm working on is before, uh, we didn't even have our steering mechanism totally bolted up correctly, so I'm working on that, and then Jason's working on the tail lights because we have headlights now, but now we don't have tail lights. How is Cosmos wire job here, Jason? <laughs> I'd like to know where Cosmo is. <laughs> You'd like to give him a word or two? Cosmo's custom failures. I'm trying to find a, a bad ground or something. Jason's having difficulties with the tail lights. So we're just chasing all sorts of problems. I want to say it's this because we put a ground on top of the rafter liner, but Probably while your alternator's not charging right there, we might have to get you some heavy gauge wire and just replace that. We'll check that for continuity. Well, I can see that there's corrosion up underneath there. Yeah, there's corrosion up there. Once that surface charge is gone, you'll end up at like 12.6, and that's your that's your normal battery storage. But while it was running, it was up to 14.1. Right. And that's exactly where it should be. Perfect. So, so it was just some silly thing. It was probably just the corrosion on the back of that alternator finally got to it. We survived last night we made another day uh, we drove two hours after our last update and then we drove an additional hour on top of that this morning and now I'm installing the rear seat for the first time ever so Chris is here Chris say hi to the viewers hi Chris I like your boost gauge that's a uh, custom tape right there yeah that's not going nowhere that's famous last it's words. so there's no room anywhere in this thing not up there not back here, the driver's seat though. Alright uh, Chris, tell us what's going on. Uh, well, you just blew a charge pipe off and we're running a little lean at wide open throttle on boost. This thing came off again. So we're on our like fourth or fifth stop of the day and uh, I, I came up with a tether idea. We lost two clamps so far, so I figured I'd put this zip tie on here so we wouldn't lose another one. And it saved it, so it blew off though again. So I'm gonna have to tighten it back up on there.
That's not good. The good thing is you're right by you. And I'm assuming that you blew the head gasket. Yeah. Look, there's oil in the overflow. Is there? Ooh. Ooh. That thing was pulling like a son of a gun. They always run the best before they break. <laughs> before they break. Oh, that thing was freaking screaming. The aftermath. Yeah. Luckily, we blew this thing up right across from Ian's grandmother's house. So we're using their truck and we're going to take this down to my shop as well. So this is the place to blow it up. That's awesome. She lent it to us. Look at that. That's awesome. This thing's really easy to turn with no power steering. Leadfoot Dalton, gotta freaking blow the head gasket. Now he's now he's stalling the freaking truck. So not only are we using Ian's grandparents' vehicle to tow the Jeep onto their property and let it sit for a minute, now we have their vehicle and we're gonna go get our vehicles. That was the per per that was the perfect place to break down. Literally everything's lining up and we have like, it's just, it, it lined up perfect. And by breaking down, you mean blowing it up. Yes. <laughs> so we made it to the shop in another Dodge product. <laughs> yes and uh we're here now we gotta ship chris out he uh made this thing perform so well that it produced so much power that it lifted the head <laughs> <laughs> oops yeah so now uh we Colonic have head gaskets and head studs yeah i think that'd be the next upgrade yep i don't think you uh designed it to make that much power right 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 so and we're running about eight ten pounds of boost well it was a good thing that on that one straight away about two miles away from the house that i let off because maybe <laughs> that's where we could have exploded and then we wouldn't have had a, such an easy time so. i hope you don't have to go through that motor but we'll, we'll see, see. <laughs>